We are here on this beautiful Hilton Head day at the Boathouse on Skull Creek with Grant Capel, who is of course with the Boathouse, and you are sharing with us this beautiful boat. Tell us a little bit about it. This is uh, Grady White 336 Canyon. So this is their offshore fishing machine, um, but it's also, you know, really great just to kind of cruise the, the yeah. backwaters here in Hilton Head, which we're going to get a we chance to do. We are going to get to do in just a minute, which yep. I'm very excited about. But you're right, it's got plenty of seating for whoever you have on the boat. And of course, cup holders, which are always important. Um, and as you said, really great for fishing. So uh, yeah, this is probably uh, of all the different boats that I get to run out of the Grady White fleet. This is probably my favorite. OK, well, let's see what it does out on the water. Awesome. out on the water and we are being guided by autopilot which is just one of the amazing features of this boat yeah one of the cool things on this boat is uh, with the Garmin system you can um, it's called auto guidance you kind of pick a pick a place you want to go to it creates a route for you and then you tell the boat to follow the route so right now we're um, we're headed towards Port Royal Sound and um, at the end of Trippers Cuts with the directions I gave it. So we're just, it's keeping us inside of uh, the intercoastal and following the markers on the way out. That's pretty amazing, yeah. And I don't, in the video you're gonna see when we launched off of the dock, it actually went sideways, which is something I've never seen before. So it, this boat is uh, equipped with what's called Helmmaster. So one of the features early on when Helmmaster came, came to light, it was uh, to help people steer large boats right because everybody's kind of intimidated it's a big boat and oh wow and all that kind of stuff what's funny is that large boats are easier to drive than than smaller boats simply because they don't move as fast they you have to think about what they're okay. going okay yeah. but Hellmaster, what the, the feature that's probably the most unique and really cool about it if you're a fisherman is that it has a, a product called fish point so you can set your boat up stern into the sea, so stern into the current, stern into the wind, right? And you push a button and it will hold the boat there. So if you're a bottom fisherman, this is like a bottom fishing machine. Wow. You get on the right spot and then you, you let's say that you're on the right spot, but you're like, I need to tweak it a little bit. So you hit the joystick and you can move the boat 10 foot any direction. That's very, very cool. Yeah. It's another amazing feature if you're a fisherman or maybe if you just like to have cold beverages, but there is a cooler on the back here that has some really unique features. To yeah, it. so there's a freezer box. So literally, so early freezer boxes had, um, they actually had freezer plates, right? So now we actually have a freezer, just like you'd have in your home, right? We, what I do with it is um, I'll get it down to 32 degrees and then uh, you know add ice and then I'll add salt water. Of course, salt water's not going to freeze at 32 degrees. You get right. this really, really cold slurry. And then, you know, you're fishing all day. You keep putting fish in, fish in. And then right before you decide to ride home, you go ahead and pull the plug, let the water out. And then all this ice is all around your fish just right. Yeah. And you said it's the easiest fish you've ever cleaned. Yeah, because it, it, the fish is so cold. Because frozen, yeah. yeah. And so it's yeah. just perfect. Well, this is really a spectacular boat. If somebody is interested in seeing one of these or getting one of these for themselves because why wouldn't you want to? Right. It's got everything you need. How do they do that? So, the, of course, this boat right now is at, uh, at our dry stack location or 405 Squire. This is going to be a boat too big to trailer. So um, this is going to be somebody who um, you know, either has uh, access to a marina like we have, either uh, in water or um, has, you know, behind your house. It's yeah. a pretty cool place to put a boat too. And then if they want something a little bit smaller, they're going to come visit you out at the boathouse on 170. Yep, yep, because yeah. we got anything from a 10-foot John boat to a, and Grady makes a 45-foot version of this thing. Wow. Yeah, yeah so, right. and that one's pretty fun to run around in too. Yeah, I, I imagine it is. Well, thank you for running us around on this beautiful boat. We appreciate it, Grant. No problem.